Good morning, guys. Welcome to show week, show prep week. It's gonna be crazy. We have a lot to do this week, a lot. And I get to ride with Elizabeth today. So to, yeah, we have a lot of surprising things happening today. We're just waiting for Gabby to go down and do chores, but um, we will be getting our horses ready this week. We're gonna be going to a big show a couple hours away, which is huge. Um, it's gonna be like the first show of this caliber that we've ever been to to prepare us for Trillium which is next weekend and we have a show on Saturday and then a show the next Saturday so I have booked extra lessons for us so that we can be ready for the show on Saturday plus we are doing some other things that I have planned um, already that have to happen this week why does everything always have to happen all together never get separated and so yeah, we have a lot going on this week, you guys, and it all starts today. My garden is filled with weeds, you guys. Don't judge. Don't judge, but look at these babies. There's some there. And then these ones are already starting to turn orange. So many tomatoes. So many peppers. Look at oh, this big right there. vine. Look at this vine, though. Like, it's all twisted and crazy. Over there, I have five pumpkins on that one. Pumpkins are starting to come. Oh, that's a giant pumpkin right there. Yeah, that's a giant tomato. That was the first one. Yep, they're coming, you guys. Look at oh, all those God, tomatoes. Today is glorious outside. It is windy. It's a bit humid. She never lets go of her rock. <laughs> and, and it rained. And I think it's supposed to rain all day. Something in her mouth. Gabby beat us. Oh, wait a minute. Who are you, purple girl? <laughs> Gabby still saw here, you guys. But yeah, it's true. Do you see? I have purple in my fingers. Oh my God. Gabby turned purple last night. That happened. Gabby turned purple. Kaylee was like, don't do it, Gabby. Don't do it. And then they FaceTimed last night. And then Kay Kaylee's like, oh, you did it. You did it. The problem with hair dye is that it never comes out of Gabby's hair. All right, so you guys know, sadly, what happened last night, yesterday? Yep. What happened? Uh, the cat died. Our cat died. Gabby's cat died. Lexi died. Some of you guys are wondering, like, what about Ollie? Is he still there? Does he still come? Typically, he comes at nighttime, and nobody sees him. And I did a test last night. I left out just enough food for him to come and eat, and he did. He came and he ate it. So he's just still around, still catching mice, catching chipmunks. But we lost our Lexi. But it's not just about that. It's about we loved her. Like she was so sweet and so good. And it's just such a sad thing. Time ago, I told you guys that I don't even believe in barn cats because of the fate of their life like she's only a year old she's a year old in july she's only 11 months old and she's already gone like uh outside the cat only has a lifespan of two years did you know that two years not even one yet i know she didn't even last one year yeah and sad it broke us broke our heart it was awful not something that i want to do again so i don't think we'll be replacing her <sighs> so today we have lessons so Gabby's gonna have a lesson on Chino. Sophie, 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 is gonna have a lesson on Finn and we're getting ready for the show. So it's gonna be a jumping lesson. Like we, our trainers tried to go back because we were missing them for so long, tried to go back and scale it back and work on things we really need to work on. And now we need to work on the show. So um, we're also having another girl come to the barn and lesson with Sophie that is closer to Sophie's age and she's gonna be riding Storm. Remember there was a time she wouldn't let anybody ride her horse? Now she's better with it, she understands, and I think it'll be good for Storm, or you guys are gonna see. We'll see if it's good with, for Storm. I don't know if she'll let me video. I think she will, though. There's that, and then we have another surprise tonight, another horsey riding surprise tonight. Yeah, so that's another thing. Not only is it show week, but we have to pull our horses' manes. Like, we have to pull their manes. Like, not cut them, we have to pull them. Like. We have a lot to do and we're not ready. We have a lot to do and we have to pack and the trip and we're going two and a half hours away. So it's gonna be wild. It's gonna be wild. The girls all have their very own spots today. Willow's over there in the very tall grass. That's where she likes to eat. Gracie's way over here in the medium grass. And Penny be trying to escape. What are you doing, Penny Pickle? We are also on our very last week of school, you guys. It's almost gonna end. We're shutting it down, getting stuff done, getting Gabby all signed up for high school. It's high school for her next year. But one good thing about having 
a Father's Day barbecue is that we got our house cleaned. Got it mostly clean. So it still is kind of messy in our school area, but a lot better. I got, these are the markers we got. Yeah, got those at Walmart the other day. All right, are you guys ready? We'll meet in the other room and we'll get ready with school, get started with school. Gabby's having her peace tea, her morning peace tea. Okay, we need to talk. We need to talk, you guys. We need to talk about a few important things. And I just, we just have to talk about this. So basically, uh, recently, I've started to pull back a little bit of what we share in our videos because it's a lot. Sometimes, like, being out there on social media is a lot. Like, nothing we do is, is right. Everything we do has somebody being upset. Every single thing. Like, we show too much emotion. We don't show enough emotion. We're too mean. We're not mean enough. We don't eat correctly. We don't wear the right clothes we don't like nothing that we do is right for everybody and that's okay that that's a part of this job but lately it's been really hard like really 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 hard and so I've been pulling back like a, a lot so yesterday when our cat died it was morning and Sam went to get some stuff at the grocery store and he found her and he sent a group tag and he sent a group text with pictures and I was I saw it first and was so upset that he would do that and I was able to get to the girls first and talk about it and we were upset and I knew that I didn't want to share that with you guys I didn't want to put my kids being vulnerable on the internet at that exact moment because it's been rough lately and we've done it before and I felt so much love and, and acceptance when we've done it before, but right now I don't trust my and our emotions with you guys completely. Like, it's a process. And right now we're going through a process on YouTube where it's been really hard, like really hard. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been trying to dial it back a little and separate a little bit from you guys because ultimately this is our life and having this many people have a say in our life is too hard. It's too hard. And I don't think very many of you guys would ever be able to handle this. Like, it's incredible. I was able to manage everything that was happening yesterday morning and Gabby dug her own hole and buried her cat herself. And yeah, sometimes she uses humor to try and not cry and not be upset. She learned it from me because I do the same thing. And here's the thing. We didn't just leave our cat on the road where Sam found it. He brought her home and we took care of her and we grieved on our own because it was safer for me. It felt safer, it felt right. It felt like something we needed to do as a family. There's just so much going on right now and I know that we'll get past this little slump that we're having with YouTube right now. We might take a break. I don't know what will happen. It's show season and I want to share that with you guys. But I'm at a point where I don't want to ruin my family and destroy their experiences based on me sharing our experiences. So I just wanted to share that with you guys and let you know like... I'm sorry you're not happy with this. I'm sorry that the girls hanging out playing volleyball with some teenage boys was not satisfactory to some of you guys, especially considering Sam and I were sitting feet from them and talking with them the entire time and chaperoning the whole entire situation. I'm sorry that we didn't share our emotions about our cat dying with you guys. Unfortunately, Macy, is leaving us very very soon as well she has some problems she's 13 she has heart failure and she's not doing that well I don't know if I'll be sharing all of the details of that with you guys some things are gonna be private for us we've had her since she was 12 weeks old and it's gonna be really emotional and it depends on how I feel at the time I just wanted to explain to you guys that this is our real life. It's not a movie or a video. This is our real life. And sometimes we will share some stuff with you and sometimes we'll choose not to. And sometimes you won't like our reaction to some things and sometimes you will. But it has to be genuine from us. It has to be, we have to decide what we feel comfortable sharing. Anyway, that is it. That's all I wanted to say. 
but I don't even know if I'll post that because knowing the reaction that people have sometimes is just overwhelming to me. Like, imagine a part of your life where every word you say will get analyzed and changed and turned around and made into something different. Imagine a time where where you can say the sky is blue but people will turn it all the way around into so many different things all negative it's a hard thing to do you guys it's a hard thing and i only want to do youtube while i enjoy it i don't want to ruin my family and this is a process and i just have to get through what's going on with me now and figure out what we're going to do but i want to keep videoing right now I just want to monitor, I just want to have the right to choose what we share and what we don't. I hope that makes sense, you guys. And I hope you can support that. Like, I hope you can realize that we want to have fun with you. And we want to spend time with you. But there are some things that we just need to do on our own. Right? You guys, I don't know where to go from here. I don't know. I just feel broken. I just feel so broken. I don't know what to do. I feel like we've lost so much as a family, as people, as humans. Like, I don't know. I don't know where to go. I don't know how to not video. I don't know how to, I don't know where to go from here. It's just frustrating. It's just hard. I wish you could understand. I wish, I wish. <sighs> I'm just gonna try and keep going forward. That's all I can do. That's all I know. I'm at the grocery store getting money from the bank machine and something to eat for lessons and then we're headed to the barn because it's show week and we need to keep going. All right, so this is Joy, you guys. Meet Joy, say hi to Joy. Joy, have you ever ridden Storm before? No. Oh, first time. <laughs> so Joy's gonna have a lesson on Storm. Sophie's gonna also ride with Joy and have a lesson on Finny. And Gabby, I mean Purple, I mean Gabby is just going to do her own thing. She's gonna have a lesson on Chino after and I brought her iced tea. Oh, she brushed his mane. Good. Good. We gotta pull this. Actually, it's not that bad. It's thick. His mane's thick. It's, it's thicker than normal. It's the thickest of the thin one. It's the thickest of the thin. It's the thickest of the thin. All right, so you guys are... I ran to get coffee for Gabby because, you know, and um, Joy got here and they helped her get stormed. Was Storm in when Joy got here? Yeah. Good, so, so they went and got Storm for her and Gabby's helping her get her tack. Well, she's come up with the tack. This is her first lesson, like this is Storm's first real lesson that he's ever given in his whole life. All right, it's all his stuff. He's like, who are you? <laughs> and then he, <laughs> this is a whole new life, buddy. This is a whole new life. She fed him an apple <laughs> for energy. So be prepared, you might have the energetic storm. I have a story. All right, tell okay, the story. Okay, so we went around there because um, the horses were down there. Finn was at the tall, well, the shelter thing that has no walls. And um, I had to walk all the way back around because Finn was at the water thing with Chino. Oh, so you went with Gabby and then you came back and Finn was somewhere different? Yeah, he was down He there. came here, he was like, hey, they're here. Yeah, okay, the hurry up because Fiona's gonna be here. Did you pick his feet and all that stuff? No. Yeah, we love that booty. Love it. <laughs> Mr. Bambino had a great ride. Great he preparation. He likes, he likes getting things. Things. Look at the rainbow. Yeah. Taste the rainbow. Skittles. Taste the rainbow. You guys, I can't hear. Have I mentioned that lately? Yeah, yeah he loves it. He says, I was so hot. So we had like a really, we had a really long lesson with both girls. We did a lot of talking, especially in Gabby's lesson. She did a lot of explaining, like a lot of, of just explaining stuff and talking and telling her what she's going to be doing. And we'll have another lesson with her and then we'll have another lesson with Brandon before the show. I know, dude. And hopefully we'll be ready. You guys know we didn't have lessons for four months and then just have lessons for the last couple of weeks. And so... It's been making it a little bit, it's been making us a little bit nervous about the whole show situation. I love that book, that, that boot bag that Sophie got at the yard sale for $12. It's hard to carry. Have you, did your boots go that way? Are they that way? Gabby's spraying you. Gabby is spraying you. I put my boots in 
You put your boots in correctly? Yes. Ah! Gotta be spraying the horse. Doesn't care that her helmet's or doesn't care that I'm getting sprayed, but worries about her helmet getting sprayed. Look at him, he's so hot. Did you wash his bum? Because he had sweat everywhere. I want to see how far this reaches. He's like, what are you doing, human? You guys, it's been a wild, wild day. Got Sam now. All right, we got Gabby, Kaylee, and Sophie. Sophie's going someplace fun. We're dropping Gabby and Kaylee we're off. We're going place. somewhere fun. Where are you um, going? We're going to the beach. But what's funner than horses? Beach. <laughs> so, we're dropping the girls off at the beach because it's scorching outside. In dress. Who's in the dress? That girl, she's in a dress. She's Mennonite. They always wear dresses. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it, she says. I could do it. I love a good dress. I love dresses and skirts. I need a different life for that, though, because horses. Yeah, horses. Anyways, so you guys know that Sophie. Okay, so you guys might not know, but Sophie has a friend that rides at our old barn, and she just started riding there in the winter. And uh, Sophie's been uh, kind of struggling riding her horse with Brandon, and Brandon feels like she could use some different kind of, Brandon thinks that she could use riding a different horse for a little bit. Um, so Brandon is gonna give her a lesson at her old barn with her friend. So that's where we're headed, and we're gonna see if it makes a difference for her. And yeah, we're dropping the girls off at the beach. So Sophie's riding this horse. You guys have seen her ride him before. Meet Sparky. And that is Storm's brother. That's Storm's brother, you guys. It's funny about lesson horses, like you forget, but lesson horses, when kids start walking toward the field, they all look and you can see them thinking. He was looking at us and he was looking at us and he was trying to discover if like we were coming for him or if we weren't coming for him. And we were coming for him. I got the saddle, I'm carrying her saddle. Hi handsome, you be looking cute. Okay, hurry up, let's go. Sophie says they lost their connection. He's really cute and he's really like friendly. I forget. He's so calm. Fat roly polies. I know. Yeah, I'll come with you. Oh, are you licking now? Oh, he's licking you? But he's so big. He maybe needs... <laughs> he's like, let me lick you. I love a licky horse. I actually really like this horse, you guys. I've liked him for a long time. Okay. Yeah, like I feel like I, I could love him easily. Oh, I heard you. <laughs> Sophie loves him. So, yeah, like... We have a plan, you guys. And he thinks it's time for him to be done. Um, so he starts being squirmy for him. And you cannot keep him on the rail. And he did not get a cup of tea. I think you did. Yeah. Sophie, Sophie said she had some troubles out there, but she, she did really well. I love his purple. So, we have a plan. Brandon and, yeah, let's just take an over Brandon and I made a plan for Sophie. He's going to work with Finn when he teaches Gabby and then we got to walk his pace so he can lick Sophie's me. yeah we got to walk, walk his pace so that he can lick Sophie <laughs> so Brandon's going to still coach Gabby at our barn and she's going to train Finn at the same time so he's going to ride Finn and put him in boot camp and train him and then Gabby's going to lesson with Chino and Sophie's gonna ride here once a week on Sparky so that she doesn't fall behind and she can keep advancing. Sparky, I get my confidence up. Sparky gets her confidence up. Because when I first. Because he's it, a couch. Look at him. Like, if I you fall it, off this, there's like a lot of real estate up there. Look at that. <laughs> you get here and look up and make him look you. <laughs> I love it. Look at your whole arm. <laughs> I love a lucky pony. So this guy is going to try him. This is yeah, yeah he's going to try him. Sparky, I love you. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are.